This is the most expensive mini PC I could find on Amazon. So inside this box is a $400 mini PC. And unlike any other mini PC, this is listed as a gaming mini PC. And here we have it, the AMR5 mini gaming PC. So apparently you can do everything with this mini PC from work to game. So we're gonna be testing that out. I actually like this packaging a lot. It feels like an Apple product. Okay, here we have it, the mini PC. This thing is low key pretty lightweight. I was actually expecting it to be pretty heavy, but it's literally like only a few pounds heavier than my phone. So this PC has an AMD Ryzen 7 5700U CPU, and it just has the AMD Radeon on graphics so definitely not the best specs i'm guessing we're going to be running around 80 to 100 fps on this also the side of the pc actually comes out and you guys can see the inside we have the 16 gigabytes of ram right here and that's literally about it this thing is so small and honestly not much going on in there okay how the hell do you put this back in what the heck is it this way? Now on the top of the PC, there's like this little bar thing that you can control all the way from performance to silent. I think these are like the fan speeds. So you guys can just turn it for like max performance. So it'd be pretty loud and then silent to like, if you're like doing work and stuff. All right, we're gonna be plugging in this PC and see how the RGB looks like. All right, we're gonna be powering this thing up and let's go ahead and see. Okay, not bad, just some minor RGB. Actually, it's not even that bad. It honestly is like super simplistic and it goes all around the PC, which is pretty cool. Now, something else I forgot to mention about this PC is that I optimized this PC's network just so I can have better connection. And I basically use an application called Exit Lag, which has many features from reducing your ping to boosting your FPS. Once you guys have Exit Lag open, you will notice it supports literally any game that you can think of. Once you guys choose the game that you guys want to optimize you guys can either select the automatic region selection or you guys can manually select a region with the lower load basically how exit lag works is it maps out many routes and finds the most optimal one for you and basically once you guys apply your routes it will show that you are connected and you're basically connected to the fastest server. So without exit lag, I'm getting around 40 to 45 ping, which isn't too bad, but it is pretty high. And after using exit lag, my ping is so much more stable at around 18 to 20. Exit lag is running a promotion where if you sign up for two months, you can get one for free. So make sure to download exit lag in the description down below. All right, so the mini PC is plugged in and I'm actually so surprised this thing's getting around 210 fps i was actually expecting this thing to run around 80 to 100 like i said now when we're building this thing does drop to around 170 but that's still really really good and and so much better than i expected this pc is honestly really really playable in creative and for literally only 400 dollars, this thing's actually running really really well we're not getting any major frame drops right now it's honestly staying above 144 most of the time the only thing I feel from this PC is like a little bit of delay. It kind of feels like mouse and keyboard on console. But honestly, for $400, you literally can't complain. Now, in a game, we're getting around... 90 to 115 fps it is pretty unstable like as you guys can see i'm moving this thing is dropping to around 70 80 fps honestly not too bad but compared to creative this is so much lower i'm also going to test out the maximum performance thing that it has on the pc so i just changed the thing to performance so let's see if that changes anything bro bro where'd the scope go bro this gun is absolutely horrible what the heck? Crack. Oh my. Bro, these frame drops are actually like pretty bad now. I can't lie. Got it. 70. Oh my. The frame drops are actually pretty bad in game now. Does it have anything to do with this thing? I'm gonna just change it back just in case. See him. I see him. I. Oh my god, why am I actually almost dying to bots, actually? The game feels so, like, unresponsive. What the heck? Crack. Yo, I can't jump. Yo, no way this guy gets away. 
Oh my. Bro, the frame drops are actually making my aim really, really bad. Any huge fight, we're just gonna get some straight frame drops. Damn, that guy just got. Okay, free medallion, I'll take it, let's go. Medallion delivery is crazy. There's a whole fight in here. Yo, these frame drops, holy, holy. 20? Chill, 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 relax. Crack. Oh my God, I can't aim. Please don't frame drop, please don't frame drop. What the heck? Full box. Oh, oh my God. I couldn't even see him and I killed him. I don't know what I'm looking at with these frame drops. It's actually wild. If you guys use this PC just for creative, it's actually a really, really good PC. But like in game, you're gonna be so disappointed with the like frame drops and stuff. And this guy thinks I'm stupid. I'm, oh my. Okay, okay. I'm not dying to this guy. No way, no, okay. Okay, you're dead. That's one. Chill, 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 chill. No, I can't hit a shot. Jeez. I can't hit a shot. Crack. This guy's one shot. Yo, this guy's not dead? Hello? Okay, there you go. The lowest frames I've seen it drop to was like around 40. And it happens like once every like huge build fight. Yo, how are these guys living after those shots? The hammer pump is just so much better. 10 times better than the whatever that thing is. And the sound is so much better too. Is they pushing? 70? Okay. I don't know why he edited that, but I appreciate the kill. I got frame drops from that pre-fire somehow as well. Oh my God, let's go. Yeah, the best way to describe this is keyboard and mouse on console. This is what it feels like. I'm gonna change this to auto and see if it changes anything. Wait, my frames actually went up by like 10. What the heck? 100 now. Does this thing actually help? I don't know, but I'm gonna keep it at uh, the auto, which is green. Guy in a bush, bro. Guy in a freaking bush. 70. Crack. And dead. Ooh. Okay, let's go push that, I guess. Okay. This guy just, I did not expect him to be there. I just shot. Closer to end game, our frames are actually kind of better. It's like 130 now, which isn't too bad. But moving around a lot, I'm still getting like frame drops and stuff. It's dropping to around 70, 75. Yo, I can't edit, I can't edit. Crack. Let's go. Honestly, this thing is really, really good for creative. But like I said, in game, this thing's just, it has the same delay as like a PS5 with mouse and keyboard, but it gets like so much less frames, but GG's, let's go.